Okay, so you might have seen in a previous video that I made that investing in yourself is going to be one of the best investments you would ever make. Now, you might have heard of other folks saying this as well. Invest in yourself, invest in yourself. But what does that mean? I want to share with you what I call my off-P method, and it sounds kind of crazy, to invest in yourself for maximum success for yourself and the maximum return on your time and investment. So stay tuned and I'll share with you what off-P really means. <laughs> Hey, it's Eric again, and as always, I'm your abundant BFF. I'm here to help you discover freedom and abundance. Now, you may have heard of the phrase, investing in yourself is the best return on investment you'll ever get. Now, this is a phrase that is often parroted by a lot of the folks out there that are in the self-help world. And the unfortunate thing is many of them are trying to sell you a product. But today, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I want to give you a methodology of how you could properly invest in yourself and really turn that into something that could be a true return on investment for you. Whether you're looking to increase your relationships or increase your earnings at work or increase your standing socially, I have this method that's called the OFP method or O-F-P-E. And what does that mean? So just to kind of give you some context, I've been in the self-development space for a long time now, over six years actually as an accountant and tax advisor to some of the biggest influencers and thought leaders in the space. And I got to be honest with you, if there's one thing that I've learned by working with a lot of these folks is they make a tremendous amount of money trying to sell you a product on investing yourself, but many of them don't really fulfill on helping you actually achieve your goals and your dreams or getting a return on investment. So after talking to a lot of these clients of mine that run these programs, what I've started realizing is it boiled down to four distinctly different things that you need to look at when you're looking at investing in yourself. So what does investing in yourself mean? Investing in yourself basically means, and it boils down to figuring out a new skill or new talent or new relationship that you can utilize in your life, investing either time, money, and resources into achieving that, and then utilizing that for allowing it to either grow, make more income, or qualify for a new job. So let's first talk about what does off P mean. The first thing is O or opportunity, identifying the opportunity. What does identifying the opportunity mean? Basically what that means is figure out what is there that you can learn that you could increase your skill set and immediately start making more money. What does that even mean? What skill set can you utilize to increase your pay? So what I would recommend doing is if you're, let's say for example, you're a computer programmer and you want to get from one level to, a, to the next level and you want to figure out how to get there rapidly. What I'd recommend doing is go on a job site like indeed.com or monster.com or any of those job sites and look at the job listings for the jobs that you eventually want to be part of and see what skill sets are there that you may not have yet. Another tactic or trick is to go into linkedin.com and to look at your peers that are in positions of jobs that you want to be in. Let's say you're making $60,000 a year and you want to make $80,000 a year. Who is in that position? What are those titles? And then what do they have in their resume that you don't have? That will help you identify the opportunity to identify what are the skills and knowledge that you're going to need to be able to get there. It will also allow you to identify the relationships that you might need to have. Now, I invite you to reach out to some of these folks and send them a cold email or send them a cold LinkedIn message saying, hey, you know, I'm a programmer at XYZ company and I would love to be at the position that you're at now. How did you get there? What you may not realize is by kindling that relationship or kindling or starting that conversation, you might create a relationship in a company that you may want to work for in the future. Or you might gain some new insight or intel on things that you might not have thought about. So, O stands for identifying your opportunity. The next part of off P is F for identify the feeling. What I invite you to do is when you figure out what your opportunity is, is to connect the feeling that you want to feel when you've achieved that goal, right? What does that mean? Let's say for example, your goal is to achieve, at least for me, my enrolled agent task designation from the IRS. And when I thought about it in my head, I was like, I'm going to feel great and excited to receive my enrolled agent designation because it's going to allow me to increase the income that I make and work with more complex creative clients, which I really enjoy doing. So create a connection, an emotional connection to that outcome. So whether it's learning a new program language, whether it's learning a new language, whether it's taking a program on how to 
do Photoshop or finishing up a program on how to do editing in Final Cut Pro. Give yourself a connection to the feeling of how you will feel when you've achieved it. That way, when you're dealing with the challenge of going through it and you know, some of these processes, some of these like these things that you're going to learn are going to take time to do it. When you go and you're like just down in motivation, just remember how you feel if you were to achieve that and it's going to keep you going. So identify a feeling to connect with the outcome. The next part is to identify your process. That's the P in off P, O-F-P-E. Identifying a process is a missing component to a lot of folks in the manifestation and law of attraction world, where instead of focusing on the outcome, you're now focusing on the process. How are you going to get there? What are you going to need to do to be able to achieve earning a higher income? Be able to achieve, what are you going to need to attract a partner of your dreams? That's figuring out what your process is. So for me, wanting to become an IRS enrolled agent, I realized that the process that I needed was to take the self-study education to take these three exams to take this certification. So my process was, okay, Eric, I'm going to study for the individual taxation part of the exam, which is a gigantic book like this, then I'm gonna take the test. Once I pass the test, then I'm gonna study for the corporate and nonprofit side of the exam, which is another book about this thick. Once I pass that, then I'm gonna study for the compliance and the regulatory side, which is a thinner book. I identified my process and figured out what I needed to do to achieve that designation. So if your goal and your opportunity is, hey, in order for me to go from this level of employment to this level of employment, I need to take, I don't know, a Sigma 6 certification, or I need to learn JavaScript. I don't even know if that's a valid language anymore. Or I need to learn about blockchain. Then from there, you're gonna identify the process of what you're gonna do. Now, to identify process and courses, you might be able to utilize programs or websites like Udemy or Coursera, where they have all of these knowledge prerequisites sold as programs on the website and you can learn it self-study at relatively low cost. There are other programs that are coming out these days where you could actually take college level study and college credit level education online. Some fantastic stuff out there. So once you identify the process, figure out what you need to do, what you need to take, what you need to learn, and where you're gonna need to learn it to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. Now, the last thing, after you have identified your opportunity, once you've connected your feeling, once you've figured out your process is the E, which is execution. Now you've identified all the things, you've figured out the emotion, you want to connect with it, now it's time to execute. You've decided, okay, in order for me to do this, I am going to first start self-studying chapter one through chapter five of income taxation, or I'm going to start studying the self-study course on how to utilize Photoshop or how to edit videos in Final Cut Pro, right? You're executing on your grand vision. You figure out the process, you're executing upon it, you're taking the courses that you need, you're learning the education you need to do, or you're just, you know, you're doing the baby steps you need to do to achieve that goal. Execution is a missing piece for a lot of folks. A lot of folks out there, not like you and I, a lot of folks out there, they enjoy dreaming of the future. They look at the lottery ticket and think, what if I can win this lottery ticket? They're hoping for this like instant gratification, get rich quick thing. We all know, you and I know that that's not going to work. What you and I are different from everybody else out there is we realize that the, the difference between the dreamers and the doers is execution. What do you need to execute today to achieve that skill set, to achieve that goal or that opportunity? What do you need to do today? And execute it every single day, stay focused and do the thing, finish it. And when you finish executing, once you finish your off P program, find your opportunity, you connect your emotion, you figure out your process, and then you execute, now you could command a higher rate. It's time for you to maybe ask for a raise at work or apply for a new position that you qualify for. If you're a business owner like me, maybe it's time to ask for higher rates, charge your clients a little bit more money because you've increased your skill set to help them out. Or if you're looking for a relationship, maybe it's time for you to go out there into the dating world. There's a lot of things that can be utilized across the board when it comes to the off P methodology. And again, it sounds funny. What does off P mean? It sounds like you're taking a leak or something like that. No, it means you're identifying an opportunity. You're connecting an opportunity with an emotion to allow you to feel why you're doing it. Then you're going to figure out what your process is, how are you going to do it, which program, which course, which thing do you need to do, and then finally you're going to execute. And with those four things, I promise you, it's going to help you get closer and closer to you living a life of your dreams. Again, my name is Eric. I'm your Abundant BFF. I'm here to help you find freedom and abundance. Now, I make videos here on YouTube every single week when it comes to finances and mindset and meditation and all these beautiful things that help 
allow us to become a person who's living a life of freedom and abundance. If you have any questions, let me know of how you think or what you think of my off P program. Pop them in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts if you have any questions or comments. Because I make videos here on YouTube once a week, click the subscribe button. I would love to have you follow along in my journey of helping you find freedom and abundance. And if you know anybody else that's on this road too, share this video with them. I greatly appreciate it. With that said, I hope to see you again next week. And don't forget, off P, O-F-P-E. Take care.